next topic. Truth, lies, shenanigans. All right, and this one is me. All right, let me pull it up real quick. Oh, wrong one. Knew it. More condom. The other bald guy. <laughs> the other bald guy. <laughs> not, not the condom. <laughs> Hold on one second. <laughs> Reset. There we go. All right, now we're good to go. All right. Okay, I'm going to assume most everyone in the world, I'm sure everyone, I know everyone in this panel, saw the infamous slap at the Oscars back in March. But just in case, in case there were a few people living under rock somewhere, unintended, Chris Rock <laughs> told an awful joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's bald head, comparing her to the character G.I. Jane. We all know now that Jada suffers from alopecia, a condition that causes hair loss. Chris later claimed he didn't know and thought it was a hairstyle choice. Well, Will Smith, Jada's husband, was highly offended and decided to walk on stage during the live televised Oscar show and slap the crap out of Chris Rock in front of 16 million viewers. The slap yep. was followed by Will Smith screaming, keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. Well, on Friday, in a YouTube video, Will Smith, for the first time, answered several online questions about the incident and ultimately apologized. Chris, I apologize to you. Why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? Um, I was fogged out by that point. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris, um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk. And when he is, he will reach out. Um, so I will, I will say to you, um, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable. And I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. All right, so my question to you guys is, would you be willing to accept the apology and move on? And do you think Rock should accept the apology and move on? What do you think, Robbie? Hmm. Um, I think that Will captured it during his apology. I want to give kudos to Chris Rock. You know, I've reached out to Chris and he's not ready to talk. Okay, so then you need to sit in your shame spiral and you need to think about what you did because the person that you attacked, that you offended, doesn't want to speak to you, is not prepared to speak to you. And sometimes that's as good as it gets. Um, sometimes you can't repair. And you know what? This might be one of those things. I, I, I would totally stand by Chris Rock in his decision. So I personally would not be ready to talk after hearing something like that. Um, Will Smith's, it's, it's a public apology. Um, it's not for Chris. It is damage control. It is PR for Will Smith. And I can appreciate that he has to do this. But if Chris isn't ready to talk to him, he should be addressing the evening's events. But it's not the time to make that apology. He, he seems sincere. He seems apologetic. He does. But it's not, yeah, you know, but it's not an apology if it's done like in a public forum like that. He it's is an actor, not, too. So, yeah. <laughs> He, has he practiced should be that. apologizing. Exactly. Like he should be apologizing to people individually. It's it's absurd to think that this kind of apology fixes anything. And at, towards the end of his apology, says, "I'm sorry," isn't really sufficient. And you know what? You're right, Will. It, it it's one of those situations where "I'm sorry" doesn't fix it. This was bad. Yeah, I totally agree. All right, Dr. J, what do you think? Um, I think that, you know, he needed to do it. It was a public slap. It needed to be a public apology. Um, you know, like, I mean, he clearly has done the private part of it, that he reached out. Chris Rock wasn't ready to talk, um, and that's fine. But, you know, he did this in a public forum. Like, you know, so many times people do things in the public, and what you did was the last thing that people know of. So you don't know about the other stuff that happens behind the scenes. So I think, you know, it was something that he was going to have to do. 
Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I think that there, you know, there's still the very there's a, a vocal there's a group of people who don't feel like he needed to apologize at all. Um, mm. And there are still, you know, uh, there's still a group of people who are like, you know, don't apologize for, you know, protecting your wife. And he said that, you know, it wasn't that Jada had anything to do with it. And it was, you know, an insult. And he knows, you know, how much Jada is going through with her alopecia and knows, you know, what that means and what she's been going through. And then to have somebody say something like that in public. Is it right? I mean, no, it wasn't right. But, you know, it just kind of it's kind of weird to me in a way that, you know, there are these men that are standing up for their families. And I'm not saying that, you know, this is totally like a stand up thing, but there are men who are doing things that they feel are protecting their families and they are getting absolutely trashed for it. Not just Will Smith, but even let's just take, you know, Prince Harry. Prince Harry has done some stuff to protect his family. He's getting trashed for doing stuff to protect what he feels is protecting his family. What did he do? I mean, just the fact that he walked away from the royals and, you know, the things that he's come out and said and how he, you know, said what he, when he saw, particularly for Harry, like what he saw his wife going through and how it brought up memories of his mother and what his mother went through and how he, you know, then had to say, look, no, I'm going to put my foot down. I'm going to protect my family at all costs and walked away from the royals. And I think in a way, I mean... We have to remember, too, I mean, Will Smith, before all of this, had said, before all this, before the slap even even happened, had said about how he saw the women in his family go through emotional things and he wasn't able to protect them and how that affected him growing up and being, you know, in his view of a man. And I think that, you know, this, but what Chris said brought up those feelings again for him and he reacted Again, you know, this is when you let your emotions get the best of you and not thinking things through. So was it the best reaction? No, it wasn't. But, you know, he reacted and it stirred up in him not again, not being able to protect the women in his family. And I just, you know, it's just kind of weird to me that, you know, lately these men have been doing this. This is what we claim that we want men to do. This is what we say we want men to be like. And the men do this and they are getting absolutely trashed in the public eye for doing just that you know so i mean yes, he should have when been, you I, i'm gonna have that. to i'm gonna i'm gonna have to challenge you slightly because <laughs> i don't know when you when when this is the way that you choose to protect your women i mean mm-hmm. it could have been done in a way that it could have been more effective. He could have done it in a much more effective way yeah. if he had thought it I'm through. I'm not talking about how. Yeah, I'm saying this so, is when he let he he let the emotions get the best of him. He let his. I don't know that people. Him. I don't know that people are saying that. You know, it's not good to protect your women in some way. I think people are taking offense at the way he chose to protect his. Women. But they are absolutely like, oh, you know, make it fun. Oh, Jada's wearing the pants in this family. No, they are absolutely oh, dragging that's... him for doing this. They, they no, yeah. they are absolutely dragging him for standing up for Jada. So it's you know, it, and, and he should be dragged he for punching somebody. I mean, for slapping somebody. The way he did it, I'm not. You know, I'm not condoning. But you're the okay way with you're you're okay with him trying to protect his family yeah. in some way. I, you know, in this age where, we, you know, I would say, like, I know that, I mean, I know that the men in my life have done things that probably they, maybe they shouldn't have done emotionally when it came in, when they thought that I was endangered. Mm-hmm. So I can totally understand where he came from and I can see this side. And, you know, as a woman, you want to know that you're with somebody who is going to, even if you don't have the voice to be able to say something, it's going to say something and recognize something's wrong and have your back. That's what a partnership is. And so you think and that this was having having her back? I think he did. I mean, I think ultimately was, he did. Did he, do, did he do it right? No, he, he didn't. didn't. Do it right. Should he have he jumped had, on stage he, and slapped right. him? Absolutely not. He should not have jumped on stage. Again, that's letting your emotions take over and you okay. are acting emotionally versus, you know, Acting rationally, okay. But like, I understand the sentiment. I, I was gonna, I was gonna let you go, Gianni. Give me one second. So, I, just because of the fact <laughs> Jay said. So apparently on that Friday during his comedy tour, Chris Rock actually responded. So 
he was reported to have said, everybody is trying to be a fucking victim. If everybody claims to be a victim, then nobody will hear the real victims. He also said anyone who says words hurt has never been punched in the face. So, <laughs> and that was my first thought when I saw the video is that Will seems like he's the victim uh, in his own apology. You know, like if he just left it at a strict apology, maybe. And I kind of agree with Rob. I, I see we're running out of time, but let's, let's spend a little more time on this. But, um, you know, if he had just gone ahead and said, you know, hey, I apologize. I'm sorry, Chris. I didn't mean to do that. Instead of being like, Chris, don't want to talk to me. I mean, <laughs> you know, crying and stuff. <laughs> I mean, and it was the same thing when he gave his acceptance speech because he, he, was, he was up there justifying his actions. You know, in his acceptance uh -huh. speech, which is what people are questioning him about. They're not really questioning why didn't you apologize. It's like, why are you making it seem like you were right or justified in doing that? And, and maybe there was some reasonable justification. But I'm just saying, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm buying into this is him protecting his women and all that stuff. I, I don't know if I buy into that. Um, I think... I think Will Smith is... He even said it. He said it's still fuzzy or it's still hazy or whatever he said. So I think that in, he's still in that moment. I don't know if he's if he's going through something like behind the scenes with Jada. I'm not into celebrity gossip, but I if I were Chris Rock, I would forgive him and move on. I would not forgive him publicly. I would just forgive him and to, to God and just leave it up. <laughs> it's above me now, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't sit there and go and do the public platform. Cause that's what people love to see. They eat it up. You know what I mean? Whether, whether it was a public slap or not, I would just let it go. Um, so if you were Chris Rock, you would let it go at this point. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, but Chris has moved on. He's not being held back. He's performing. He's living his best life. He's not taking shit for something that Will Smith did. So I'm praise Chris, Chris. And if also. Chris has no use for him, then good. He's got people no use for him. Move on. Okay. But then Chris Rock also has a has a his, has a questionable history with women and things that he has said yeah. about women. Lizzie, so Lizzie in a way, this might be was... karma. In a way, that slap may have been karma coming back. It may not have been the right thing, but you know, Chris has done some stuff and said some things, and this could yep. have been karma coming back on his ass. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> I mean, he's a comedian <laughs> too. I mean, comedians say some dumb shit sometimes. <laughs> but there, I mean, but there are things. I mean, yes, but these some things are tasty. Things that he has said weren't necessarily in. A stand like he wasn't on stage saying these things. Some of the things that he's no, done. he so, was being paid to perform and entertain the crowd. He was mm -hmm. doing exactly what he was paid. To no, do. no, no, no. I'm going to look back. About, I... No, no, no. I'm talking about Chris's history. Chris has a history okay. of questionable things that he has said, particularly with black women. He has a history of that, and <laughs> so this slap could have been karma coming back on him about That's some karma. of the things that he has done, said out of his mouth <laughs> in the past. So, <laughs> and I said again. Nobody should have slapped anybody on stage or off the stage. You shouldn't have slapped anybody. You know, True that's the thing here. But it also a man been karma coming back on Chris. Yeah. That's all I got to say about that. All right, give you a last word, Gianni. I didn't give you a whole lot of time to talk. Any, any last I was just going to say, I think Will Smith feels like a victim because he's being attacked so much because of the slap. So that's probably why he still looks emotional about it. Like, he, I felt like he was about to cry saying that that speech so um yeah will smith is a, actually a very talented actor very <laughs> yeah. talented he is a talented actor we were talking about halle berry earlier not being a talented actor yeah. <laughs> will smith is actually a very talented actor so i don't know i'm not buying it all right, so uh, a few comments, a lot of comments online actually so jacqueline robson i think he already made the public apology that night too bad it wasn't included. Chris Rock wasn't included in that apology. The sad thing was that Will thought the joke was funny. He laughed himself. That's true. If you look at the video, he laughed at the joke. Um, and then um, uh, this has nothing to do with protecting his family. Why not use that same energy for the dudes his wife had entanglements with? <laughs> um, yeah, and there we go. Like, go you ahead. Know, like, there, there's the entanglements. The yeah there you, that's the that's the uh criticism i'm talking about that which i mean everybody's entitled to their opinion about every anybody but that's probably what he felt you know all he right olivia 
Olivia's on YouTube. No comments on TikTok. Um, Olivia's on YouTube. Sometimes it takes people a long time or never to apologize. A late apology doesn't seem unnormal to me. Um, and she also said, Chris Rock should have protected himself. He's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen the slow-mo. He had time. I don't know that Chris Rock knew what was coming. Yeah, right? he probably was. You know, Nobody knew what was coming. <laughs> it, I, thought, I think Chris Rock kind of thought it was like he was going to say something or just do something weird, but not slap the shit out of him. <laughs> right? I don't know who thought that. But uh, uh, Jeanette Brown uh, says, uh, uh, what do we think about culture that praises making fun of people for their differences? Mm, that's a very good point. Because mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. basically, uh, that's what Chris Rock was doing, making fun of her. Um, so. I mean, yeah, everyone like kind of falls like, oh, it's a comedian, it's a comedian. Okay, but you can make jokes and not necessarily be like, oh, you bald headed. Like, I mean, you don't have to make a joke off someone's appearance. I mean, but I it's thought it was. True, I, but he is an old school comedian, so it's like I can see if it was like a new emerging comedian coming out. But he's Chris Rock, back from Everybody Hates Chris. Like his his jokes are old school. And I mean, I thought the joke was maybe bad, but not horrible. It's definitely horrible if he had known she had alopecia, but he says he didn't. So it was not. I mean, I thought. Me, matter of fact, I didn't realize she had alopecia, and I thought she was. Mm -hmm. I thought she looked beautiful in her. Um, you know, with her bald head, actually. Yeah. So I thought it looked great. And I thought he was just making fun of, you know, the fact that it looked like G.I. Jane. I mean, he was just noticing. But knowing that she has alopecia, then you're like, okay, wow, that's horrible uh, joke. But I thought it was, a, I think, I love her haircut. I, I love her bald head, actually. I think she looks beautiful as a bald-headed woman. I, I'm a bald-headed guy. I, I, you know, I think bald head is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Sonia, Sonia C. Uh, Cueto on, uh, says, isn't there a divorce rumor surfacing again? Seems like a good time to apologize publicly. I don't know. I had uh, many, uh, divorce rumors. It might be. Might be. They, maybe. Maybe. Cause they, they have been talking more, <laughs> more of those, uh, entanglements going I'm sure on. The, All right. I'm sure there've been more of those conversations in the last year <laughs> than there have been previously. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Olivia says she isn't bald. You're bald, Neo. She has a low cut. <laughs> yeah, she has like a low cut. <laughs> well, I think it's a beautiful low cut. All right. So, is this true? Lies, shenanigans. Lies or shenanigans? Shenanigans on the bullshit side. Yeah, shenanigans. I'm going with shenanigans. There's some shenanigans. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Sorry, I'm not buying the apology. A mess. Not buying it. Not buying a mess. it. That's, that's just me. <laughs> All right. Let's get into our last 